Rush Limbaugh has an awesome new conspiracy theory for us about polls. Let's listen. We thought we had him this time. We had made him out to be the next Bill Cl Bill Cosby, not Clinton, sorry. The timing was perfect, the same kind of October surprise we used to destroy Romney, Bob Dole, Herman Cain, you named it. We turned that goody two-shoes, Mitt Romney, into a monster. If it wasn't for 9-11, we could have taken out Bush 43 like we did his dad. They can't, but in other words, if Trump is at four points after with, withstanding this barrage, then they have to be scratching their heads. Now, I want to... Remind you of one more thing. We're getting close now to the period of time where the pollsters are going to have to start showing the, the race as it is. Now, I'm of the opinion they're not yet. I'm of the opinion that they're still using their polls to make news, to shape public opinion, rather than reflect it. But as we get closer to the election, we're not there yet, by the way. But as we get closer to the election, all of these polling companies are going to want to be right when it's all over. And so the polls that we get a week prior, the last polls before the election from all of these different outfits, probably will be closer to what they really think is going to happen. And because they have their reputations to predict, uh, protect after the election is over. Of course, they may not care about that anymore. It's such a one-sided thing. Nothing's going to happen to them if they blow it. Mm, yeah, I mean, look, even if these pollsters, if they mess it up, nothing's going to happen to them. And I'll tell you something, something should happen to them. I, Rush Limbaugh, care about responsibility. I care, if you make bad predictions, people should know that you should lose your job because your job is to make the predictions and to be right about stuff. I mean, that's why, I, this is why people look at your stuff. So, I, I personally think there should be accountability. If you get your predictions dead wrong, you know, this is something that's super important. All of my thinking says Romney big. Not even close. 300 plus electoral votes for Romney. Responsibility and accountability for everybody else. Not me, though. Not me. Yeah. These guys are so stupid. And look, that's just one example. Do you, do you think it's just him? George Will who's viewed as an intellectual on the right, predicted a Mitt Romney landslide victory. Larry Kudlow on CNBC, people still pretend he's an economic and financial expert. He's not. He predicted a, a, a Mitt Romney landslide victory. Glenn Beck said Mitt Romney would win the election. The list goes on and on of the morons on the right who are like, I, I know this, I know this. And for the record, there's over, there's nearly 30 different polling organizations in 2012, before the election, uh, I think it was only two of nearly 30 that had Mitt Romney up at all, and, it, and in the ones he was up, it was by a little bit. Every other one, the overwhelming majority of them, had uh, Obama up, and some of them Obama up sizable. I think, what did Nate Silver have it at on the day of the election? 90%, 94%, something like that, that uh, Obama was going to win? And these guys are like, no, Romney, and Romney in a landslide. That's not, that wasn't even a potential option. On the, all the different scenarios. That wasn't there. Ron being a landslide. He's going to win big. He's going to win big. Because they don't, they're unable to separate what they want to happen from what they think is going to happen. Because they're not that smart. <laughs> so they can't do the two different calculations. I would like this to happen, but I think this is most likely to happen. They can't do it. They can't fucking do it. So he's a silly person. But let's focus more on the, uh, for a second, what the actual poll conspiracy is. He just said, like, you know, right now, the pollsters, they're not putting the right information. They're, they're trying to make news. They're not just showing the race as it is. But, you know, later on, they're going to start to show the race as it is. Because they want to protect their, their reputations and stuff. But for right now, they're not. But they're going to eventually, they're going to switch. You're, he's just literally making it all up. That's all made up. All of that is made up. What are you talking about? Look, if you want to say, hey, there are some specific polls that I could point to where... I think the methodology was off. Hey, look, I found a poll where they oversampled Democrats. That's, okay, bad. That's not good. That, let's get rid of that poll. If you want to do that, I'm with you. But you got to give me the specifics of the methodology of the specific poll, and let's dig into it, and let's determine whether or not it's fair, and let's move on. What he's talking about is all the different polling organizations, nearly 30 of them, going, all right, let's try to make news with our polls and show Hillary Clinton up, even though she's probably not up. 
And then later on, maybe we'll put the, the real stuff in there. Like, Rush, do you not understand how stupid you sound? But he doesn't! He doesn't! He doesn't! Massive conspiracy of every single polling organization putting Clinton up now, but later on they're going to show what, she's, what it's really like because they have to. I, there's never been a person more thoroughly discredited than Rush Limbaugh who still has a platform. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Nobody should take this guy seriously. I mean, anybody with any expertise in any field... Stop listening to him the second they crossed onto, he crossed onto their field. So, for example, scientists. The second Rush Limbaugh goes off talking about how uh, evolution's a myth and creationism is real, that's it. Or climate change is a hoax. They're like, oh, so he has no idea what he's talking about, about anything. And it's not just science, it's, it's you know, economics. Again, another example, he still believes in Reaganomics, still believes in, uh, you know, trickle-down where you cut taxes for the rich, and you deregulate, and then everything's great. Well, when we did that, we had the Great Depression and the Great Recession. Doesn't care. He's got a fucking cinder block for a head, this guy. And with everything he says, he proves it more and more.